Hi, Aldo here. How are you doing? I hope you're well and I hope uh, you're all managing well um, for those of you at home and um, in self-isolation like I am. Well, eight weeks now. Yeah, um, it's tough, isn't it? But uh, we'll get there. You know, they say that the, you know, to get the best view, you've got to climb the toughest mountain. And this will be tough, but we'll get a good view at the end of it. But anyway, I'm here to, to first of all, thank you. For, I've been doing these food videos, these um, healthy options, cheats, call them what you like, videos. And uh, we've had a lot of feedback on sort of clarity on what I'm doing and that. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. And this has really, really helped me from the bottom of my heart to get through this eight weeks because I'm here completely on my own. Um, I do all my own filming. I've never done filming in my life before. Uh, I cook what I cook for you. I cook for me. And when the camera's off, that's exactly what I do and enjoy it. But just to give you a bit of background on, on why I'm doing it and really what, what the response is. What, what I've, I've done, I've, you know, I've changed my life completely. 17 years ago, I was a big guy, I was. And I decided to take, make lifestyle changes in my life, but I didn't want to compromise on what I was brought up to love. You know, classic hearty Italian food, you know. And olive oil is good and healthy, it is, but not if you put two gallons of it to fry an aubergine. You know, the calories are like 3,000 calories. But I didn't want to compromise on that. So what I did over the, the years, I've worked very hard at developing what I call healthy cheats. So I still eat an aubergine, but I don't fry it. You know, I'll put it in an oven and roast it and then add it to the pasta. And that's kept me off. Actually, I've got something great news. In the eight weeks in isolation on my own, all the food that I've been cooking, I've actually lost nine pounds in weight over half a stone in isolation. And apparently the rest of the world's putting weight on. I don't, uh, I look at food as we need it, it's important to survive, and I don't want to compromise on the quality, so I'm prepared to put all the effort in to, to find a way around it that I can still enjoy what I, what I love, all the great things my mum used to cook and my aunties and uncles in Italy, and all the great places I've been around the world, let alone Italy, to the so-called finest restaurants um, in the world, and enjoyed great food, but then sort of walked out and then thought, I could change that and make it different. And it's not about mine being better than his, it's what's right for me, for Aldo. And what I want to do is share my journey with you and I want you to um, try these recipes and if you like them, great. And if you don't, great. And if you've got to modify them, let me know what you've done. We're here to learn. Life is about, um, I wouldn't use the word work in progress. Life is just progress. You know, life should be about progressing all the time and never accept something as it is. If you want to change it, the only person that could change it was me. I decided I wanted to change my life and I don't feel I've compromised in anything I do or eat. Actually, you know, last year I had a medical examination. I went every year with my cardiologist, Helen, and I got the most beautiful letter. She actually said, Alda, I think you're going to gain 13 years on your life. Well, when you're 60 next year, I was quite happy at that. I'm back down to 47 years old and I'm going to complain about that. I feel better than what I felt probably 30 years ago. I feel more alive, more healthy. Uh, with the challenges, especially this eight weeks has really challenged me and it's been um, quite tough some days. It has, but this has kept me going. It's given me a focus, I've enjoyed doing it. I have and I, and I get a lot of pleasure out of your feedback and seeing that you're enjoying it and my staff have been commenting and trying it and saying we love it out and we agree it didn't taste any different, it tasted better. I just did it for me and if I can share that journey with you guys and. Uh, any one person, it helps them change their life and make them eat healthier and feel that they're not having anything taken away, then that's great. And if not, that's great as well. What I would ask is if, you know, you would, you want to subscribe and join me so then we're looking in the future to do Zoom cook-offs together because my passion, um, people that know me, was when I retired, it was to have a cookery school in Italy, you know, something that could have a table, 20 people around, grow our own food, because uh, I'm really into local and Italy's all about local food. And I want to bring that message home back to, to here and say, you know, it's about looking at it, picking it, growing it, enjoying it. But you know what's the social aspect of it as well? If you look at the Italians, the Neapolitans, we're all hands and everything's great. But it's a great vibe in Naples. You know, if, if it's in a live city, it is. And it all happens around the table. It is food, whether we like it or not, we need it to survive. I just made a choice. I want to survive more than not. I need it. I don't um, compromise. Far from it. I probably eat better now than what I've ever eaten. 
Still enjoy my glass of red wine, love it, I do. But I made changes, lifestyle changes that actually suit me. And I just wanted to sort of spend five minutes, not, not to keep it too long and bore you, to not give confusing messages on what I'm trying to do every time I say this is a cheat to that, a cheat that. What I've done with cream sauce, I know I don't need to use double cream to make um, anything that you would typically use double cream in with salmon or whatever, or what they would do in Italy. So I changed it to ricotta and milk, I did. So I'm reducing the calories substantially, but I'm not compromising, I feel, for me, on the quality. And that's what it's all about. I don't want to compromise on the quality. And quite frankly, people I've cooked for would never know. I don't ever tell them what I'm going to do. I just serve it. And they just well, we really enjoyed that Alva. And then if I tell them afterwards it was turkey, they say, oh, really? Well, great, great objective. I don't do anything that was easy in life. I never have done. Because anything that's easy, you can't appreciate the joy of it. Anything I have to be challenged on, eight weeks I've been challenged. You get up, you get up every morning, you brush your teeth, you have a shave, you put your best clothes on and you do the best we can. That's all we can do. And with me, it's always going to be about food. Social, I'm a social body, I'm missing a cuddle like you wouldn't believe. My son, he comes and delivers my food and I can't hug him on the drive. I so miss the physicality of life, I do. But it is what it is. We've got to knuckle down, stay home and protect our great national health and protect the frontline people that are doing all this for us. We owe it to our neighbour. We do. It's not about us. It's about a team. And we do good in a team. We do. And please, please, please give me some constructive feedback or even destructive. Give me anything you want. But just enjoy it. There's going to be a lot more of it. Like I said, we're going to try and speak with Kieran, our head of um, technology at work, and Eleanor and Craig and Anthony and just try and get these Zoom things organised that we're, when we're back under lockdown, especially because we have the most amazing test kitchens at work where we're developing new products all the time. And I'm very much a hands-on CEO. I'm not a typical, you know, I like to get in and dirty and prepare stuff and work on recipes. So it's something that we will do and invite the public in to um, learn for what I've learned. If you want to learn, you know, um, it's not a slimming club, far from it, because it's, I don't look at life as slimming or clubs. The only thing I think that ever works in my personal opinion, trust me, in the past I've probably done every diet known to man. You know what it is? The scales, because they don't lie. They speak total truth. They do. If you put a pound on, they're going to tell you. You put a pound on. Then you've got to look at yourself, dig deep and think why. And, you know, you hear, I've heard every excuse under the sun and uh, to myself. Uh, it's only that one. It's only No, then they all add up. You really, really got to find the discipline in yourself to say, this is what I want to do in my life. So that's what these videos are about. We're going to be doing a lot more. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I want to thank you so much for allowing me to do this. And I hope you will enjoy them, the food, <laughs> as much as I enjoyed cooking them and eating it. I just wish I had somebody, because at the moment I've got like a little pretend friend opposite me when I'm having my dinner. So it's like, you know, talking to a pretend friend. But we get on with it. I want to thank you from the heart. Please stay home, stay safe. We're nearly there. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. On a bracha from Aldo, and a big kiss. Ciao, ciao.